What are we using? Well, we got a few options. Let's start right here with a cold chisel, all right? A lot of hand work involved. You gotta get in there and break up that loose mortar. Get it down. Now, I gotta be careful with a chisel or any other tool we're gonna use because you don't wanna chip the brick itself. All right. Now, we gotta drag out all this loose mortar, and we gotta get down to about three quarters to an inch, Kevin. So now, what is this guy, Tommy? I've never seen this before. You've got a device with a nail sticking down that's adjustable, and it right. rides on two wheels. It's actually a masonry nail. You want something that's really firm, and it's actually a gauge that will set the depth. And it's only good if the mortar is really loose. But give it a try. Drag it back and forth. Uh, yeah. You get it at the right angle, and you'll be down whatever the depth of the nail is set. It'd be nice if you could plug it in. Well, here's one that you can plug in right here. Here's a little four-inch grinder with a four-inch diamond blade. Now, this is the tool that I use a lot. I went down about three quarters to one inch. That's a good depth. Now, here's another tool that'll allow us to get tight to the riser. It's actually called a brick and mortar saw. It has two blades that are actually bypassing when you turn it on. You can actually see the blades going back and forth. With our old mortar out, we're ready to replace it with some new mortar. All right, our mortar is mixed, and we've mixed it the consistency of thick peanut butter. Now I'm gonna take some with my pointed trowel, and we're gonna push it into the joints using this right here. This is a tuck pointer, and I've chosen a narrow one that will fit in between the joints of the brick. Now if we were doing this on a hot, sunny day, Kevin, we'd have to worry about the sun and the brick being so hot and dry that it would actually steal some of the water out of the mortar, causing it to crack but we're in the shade here, so we're all right. That's right. So the tent was for the bricks, not for us? Well, it was for me too, but you're right, it was for the brick. Now what I'm doing is I'm sliding it off my trowel and I wanna push it right down tight into each joint. Okay, now I'm gonna just take my trowel, hold it under the tread like that, push it right in with the tip, working it right up there. Now when I'm installing the mortar into the brick joint, I try to be as neat as possible. I don't want to get the mortar all over the brick itself because it stains it. Down here in the bottom riser, you can actually see this space right here. Well, the front walk has settled. So we'll just pack that gap with mortar. Now all of the joints on the stair are actually a flat joint, and to create that flat joint, I'm actually using the tuck jointer. But right here where the tread meets the riser, I want a concave surface. To do that, I'm gonna use this trowel right here. It's a convex tool. I'm gonna force it into the joint, creating a nice rounded edge. Now we'll clean off all the heavy residue with brush and water. Uh, we want to stay off the stairs now for a few hours. Mm -hmm. Then in a couple of days, come back with some muriatic acid and water and wash away all the residue. All right, well, a heck of a lot easier than replacing the entire staircase in a few years. Sure is. Mm -hmm.